What's up everyone, Doily here, and we are going to do some Berea Flame Shrine live for the stream. So we got 20 minutes left before reset, and we should be able to beat randomized pretty easily. So let's gear up, which I actually just did, we'll just cover the gear. So going to run Drake in the front slot again. Uh, going to run him half tanky, half aggressive this time. So 2-2 two -two split, we'll keep the speed HP stone. I actually gave him the glittery crown, uh... I don't think he really needs the Fearless as much. This will give him more survivability than the Fearless, and he'll get a little bit of attack. I'm still only expecting about 500 million damage from Drake on average, um, but we went with a split between tanky and healing enable, so we're going to keep on bending. We're going to go with resilience to heal him, and we'll give him one HP enable. We'll see how that does. We can always swap him. Gonna run Ethaqua in the other front slot since she is still the tankiest. I'd love to get one of those Delaciums up to E5 and put them in the front spot. So Ethaqua can sit in the back line safety, safely. A few bad Berea crits and Ethaqua will drop unfortunately. Um, but gonna run her full aggro still. Holy attack attack. 1-3. Glittery antlers gain. And full red. The loss of damage from unbending will is just too much. Um, yeah, we're just gonna roll with the RNG. So back line will be Heart Watcher, 2-2, two -two, Speed HP, Radiant Demon Bell, and Standard Enables. Both the Lossiums are going to be 2-2, two -two, HP, HP, with Fearless Armor, or whatever we're calling it nowadays. Uh, let's actually grab a skin for the other Delacium while we're doing this, for fun. I've got three of them now, might as well. We're going to be using Delacium for plenty of content. Let's give both of them skins. Not really going to change their damage much, but it does give a little HP, so it does not hurt. Plus now they match, which is honestly the most important part. <laughs> uh, and then finally we're going to run our 9-star Rogan. 10-star won't be huge, but I'd like to get him to 10-star maybe during the next PO event. So we'll run him 2-2. Two -two. Um, he's just got a Holy Attack HP stone for now. I'm not pushing this. He survives against most stuff, and we're going to run him with that magic source. So let's see how we do. I'm hoping we can get like 750 billion at least, which should be pretty doable. Uh, but Ithaqua can die. Though we have had some clears where Ithaqua died and we still got 100 billion. So if the Delaciums do enough work, it's fine. So both fish boys. Dragon. We're going to swap. We're going to put Drake in the first slot since he can dodge some of those basic attacks and hopefully live a little bit longer. Just update my notes and how much damage are we at before this starts too? For the video, 517 billion, exactly. Cool. All right, let's jump in. Ah oh, man, I hate that it does that. Oops. All right, fish boy, fish boy, Rogan, swap, dragon. Now we're good. Let's go. Protect us, RNG. We don't want to lose our Ithaqua. So she does have a chance to not crit um, with this setup. I think she's at like 93% crit. I'll check in a second. So as you saw in that basic, she, she did miss. I do want to keep an eye on these Heart Watcher attack debuffs. Allegedly, I haven't been paying attention to the number on them. I guess I can't see them. We're looking good so far, though. Hopefully, Dragon hits her for this next active. It does not. It hit this Rogan, as you can see. She does have Rogan's buff, so she'll have a little bit of attack. Usually, we're hoping for about a 1 billion active on round 10. That's usually how I know at least the talk was on a good pace. But Dragon misses her again. That's unfortunate. She should hopefully have that round 10 active though, yeah. 810 million, a little low. We are a little laggy too, but I think I've got everything closed. I can close Movie Maker. We do not need to edit Tower of Oblivion videos right now. Oh, live with Aqua. Dragon buff misses her again too. This is going to be pretty low unless the Delaciums replicated a ton of her dots. They might be, though. They're not replicating this attack down. Well, it hits her that time. Unfortunately, it's the last round basic attack. So how do we do? 
102.8 billion, so definitely not bad at all. I will take it. At this point, my goal is still over 83 billion. Uh, let's see, to get 1.5 trillion, we would need, by 12 attacks, we'd have to get 125 billion per attack, and I'm definitely not at the point where I'm averaging that yet. So the goal is still to stay in the 1 trillion club. 1.5 is on the horizon. GDP just broke into 2 trillion against Sigmund, which is insane. At that time, we finally got it on the Thakwa, so we should have it for around four active, assuming she gets tagged by some of these actives. Uh, Heart Watcher is still slower than a Thakwa, which is a problem with the Glittery Demon Bell or the Radiant Demon Bell on Heart Watcher. Situations like that, it would have been a little better on Drake. Um, we also haven't checked Drake, uh, Drake's damage. See how he's doing. Nice, five hundred thirty-three million active. My bitrate is floored, and I don't know why. That may be just in the manager, though. Okay. Well, it should be good. Should be a big active. 899 million. Dragon does hit a Thakwa this time. I don't know if she'll get around 13 active. It'll depend on these three Berea actives. Yeah, she'll get one. Good. So it should be a big active from her. 1.25 billion. Awesome. We'll also take a look at the round 14 dots when they come up. Let's see where we're at. Assuming we're not super laggy. 7.9 billion on the dots. Not bad. And a 1.4 billion active. This should be a pretty good one, assuming we got good replication. Nice! 110.1 billion. Awesome. This is our best day so far against this Berea. 20 billion from the Athaqua. Fairly low replication, all told, from the uh, Delasiums. Uh, we got basically 1.9 times and uh, about 2.4 times. So you can get up to like 3.5 times or so. Um, that Drake is putting out 659 million, so definitely higher than the 500. I'm liking the, the mixed build on him. Um, and also, let me show... So, if you run a Thakwa in this setup, you do have chances to not crit, which is unfortunate. So, her base is 63%. Plus, the 10 from Dragon is 73%. And then, Rogan only gives her 20%. So, she's actually at a 93% crit chance. So, every once in a while, you will see times where she doesn't crit. Hopefully it's just on those basic attacks. Um, but let's jump right back in and finish this day off. There's the echo in the background? What the heck? Everything is muted except for my microphone. I can't figure out why there should be an echo. The webcam mic is muted, the... everything is muted. Uh, Dragon missed a Thakwa, that's unfortunate. Just sometimes, that's weird. I think Streamlabs may do some weird stuff when I talk to like, uh, quiet the music or something. Alright, we got Dragon. Only 717 million, that's a little low. Yeah, I don't know what might be causing it. If anyone else hears it or has any ideas, let me know, because every I've only got one microphone source and it's muted everywhere else. Dragon does land on a Thok one. For, well, we might get around 13 active. I think we should actually. Yeah, perfect. One billion, not bad. Refurbs. It may just be this freaking microphone itself, to be honest, at this point. There's no sources.
97.9 billion. Uh, not as high as the other ones, but I mean, I'll definitely take it. If Thakwa's damage was a little low, the delay seems were coming in over two times, so that's that's good. What's so 97.9 billion? You're not getting. Uh, what am I looking for? Real tech. Where's my real tech? I know my real tech. Uh, manager has an option to like remove echo but that should be enabled let me check that's true yeah let's finish off the less to do the last battle and we'll check the mic problem afterwards <laughs> Alright, so everyone has been surviving, which is good. Ithaqua still... I mean, bad RNG will kill Ithaqua with this setup regardless. Three active crits will drop her, and there's nothing I can do about it. But Unbending Will just kills her damage. And Drake is usually fine. He just needs to get, like, one or two dodges in between rounds. Um, between Rogan's healing, his healing, and so on. She does get it, so she will have a Dragon active. 640 million. Void isn't pure pay to win, but it's just like every other aspect of the game. If you want to be the first person to get the first copy of the new hero, you're going to have to pay. But, I mean, free to play is definitely going to be able to get a Void Shia, so. Alright, we're not going to have Dragon for round 10, so it'll be active. Yeah, only 800 million. But yeah, I mean, you'll be able to get Void Shia, but if you want to get her day one, you're going to have to spend. Same as everything else in this game. Come on, Dragon. Alright, Dragon did tag her that time, that's good. 1.22 billion. Looking good. Man, if we have a huge damage, we could almost get 1 trillion against Berea, which is good. We had some... Day 1 and Day 2 were offline, I still need to edit the videos, but they were pretty low damage days, all told. Um, Ithaqua definitely died in at least 2 of the, the rounds. Alright, how do we do? 128 billion holy cow that is definitely a record for berea i think my what is my highest that was in the Molossa video, right what did i hit a Molossa? 150 something yeah 155 definitely my highest against berea though um i'm liking the setup i don't know why full red ithaqua survived perfectly this time i don't know if it's t three active crits i think it takes three active crits to kill her so it is pretty unlikely for it to happen but still uh holy cow that's even more impressive considering our thakra's damage was absolute trash um both the laceums came in at like 3.4 times a thakwa's damage which is about perfect uh if our thakwa did like 23 billion like we want her to do um we could have had like almost 180 billion damage from this run and Drake put out another 700 million, so not bad at all. That is awesome. How do we do in the end? Ah, oh, 956 billion. Not bad, considering most of it came today. Ended up with 439 billion on the day. That is awesome, and that is gonna be it for this flame shrine. But uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you like the content, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.